Ndile, as always, thank you for your time. Now, I remember we first spoke early on in hard lockdown, and there was that dreaded word pivot that we've now grown tired of that I asked you to explain and how businesses very quickly needed to be agile, they needed to pivot, and they needed to change the way they do things in response to this tsunami of a lockdown that we uh, managed to get through and are still living through some of it as well. Um, what of these changes do you believe are here to stay, and how can entrepreneurs uh, take a hold of it? Thanks, myself for having us. Um, I think probably the biggest change, top of the list for me, has got to be about the role of change in our lives. And this particular change is obviously something unprecedented for many lifetimes even before us. So number one on my list is, that, is the fact that change is the only constant. So whatever business you're building, whatever it is that you do to earn an income and generate value, you've got to be always ready that anything can happen that can fundamentally change Maybe just your business as kind of a player in a bigger market, or maybe just the market that you operate in, or even the entire sector and value chain that you are in. But the one thing COVID has showed us is that an event can happen in a relatively short period of time and fundamentally change just how business is done and how people want to transact. You look at how we are all shopping nowadays, just behaviorally. Mm. You know, online banking and online shopping has always been there. Mm. It's not as if it's something new. But nowadays, we, we are more inclined to do online shopping because we've gone through the lockdown that we've had. Look at how we use property. Mm. You know, serviced offices were always there. You, could, you didn't have to go, um, you know, get out a whole brand new office. You could quite easily go and lease an office that's fully furnished for you as and when you need it. But now the demand for that kind of space has, has increased. And we've seen the same thing in many other sectors as well. So number one on the list for me is that if your business cannot withstand change, mm. you have a real problem on your hands going, in, going into the future. Now, you've got a, another one of your very popular uh, I'm an Entrepreneur Summits coming up. And the theme, funnily enough, is the art of reinvention. I mean, um, that really is perfect timing, isn't it? What, what, what are you going to be focusing on there? Absolutely. In fact, you know, and I guess that's why we're talking about change. We're talking about that dreaded word pivot, because the reality is that we all have to step back and have a look at what we're doing and determine for ourselves whether or not we can still remain competitive in our industry. So... Come the 17th of April, all online, we're going to be running our first installment of our I'm an Entrepreneur Digital Summit happening at 10 o'clock. That's next week, Saturday, frankly. And the focus will be on lessons on how one can actually go ahead and make that shift and reinvent what they do. In fact, my guest entrepreneur for this one, Vuyi Zondi, runs a skincare business which, as you can imagine, mm. people are not going to work as much as they used to before. So they may have felt that, you know, uh, maybe I'm not going to use skincare that much. <laughs> but, you know, one thing we learned is that we're all going to be on these platforms, as you and I are talking this morning. And whether you're a man or a woman, you want to look good in those platforms, <laughs> particularly in a work environment. And she basically reinvented a business as an order and online and e-commerce business where you could see the, 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 the work that the skincare products could do for you and you could order that online and do it for yourself at home which was a very different model to kind of designing something formulating going to manufacture and going to distribute through all of the kind of chains that are sitting in malls expecting you and i to walk into a mall and buy the product so clearly the, she could see that there was time to reinvent her model so we're going to be learning from people like her we also have other features on the show where we're looking at book features we also have a, 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 a conversation with other entrepreneurs who've also gone through a reinvention as well in this time. We'll be sharing their thoughts on how they've done it as well. So the format has changed slightly. It's now action-packed. It's full of different features. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to talk about it once we've had it next week Saturday. Just very quickly before we go, we spoke about the, the rise and rise of digital and how the, the lockdown has really sped up how this has become part of business and our daily lives. What would have happened over perhaps 12, 15, 20 years has now happened within a year. But do you believe that there is still a gap for businesses that are perhaps um, more tangible, more sort of service-based um, and not so much focused on digital? Surely there is still a gap for that, that entrepreneurs shouldn't be ignoring just because there's this obsession with all things digital and e-commerce. One of my favorite quotes by a top South African businessman is that the, the role of business, Marcel, is to serve. In other words, we exist only because there is a consumer who needs or wants our service. So absolutely, there is room for various businesses and the kind of uh, brick and mortar or touchy or service or goods businesses. Absolutely, there is room. Why? Because there's consumers who need your product. Mm. But what I, where I do think technology plays a role, and you cannot ignore it, 
is potentially one in the manufacture of those products. So there's going to be new, easier, cheaper, quicker, faster ways to manufacture whatever you used to manufacture before. You've got to be open to that because there's innovation there that if you're not open to, you're going to be left behind. And perhaps on the supply side, how the product is delivered to the customer has also fundamentally changed in that we, we may we be less inclined to kind of interact in person and may want to be able to still have access to those products and services, but in a way that's convenient and easier mm. and just a, a lot more adaptable to the times we live in and therein lies the role of technology. So I think that it's myopic to look at technology as, oh no, it means the tech startup or it means mm. the business is built on the internet. Technology touches us across the value chain, all the way from manufacture to delivery to customer. Indeed, thank you so much for your time. A quick hard sell there, um, uh, Andile Kumalo, the founder of I Am An Entrepreneur. As you heard there, they've got a summit coming up next week.